welcome to the project implementation of obstacle avoidance robo and commands using the zigbee technology and this is called the transmitter part where you can find the zigbee transceiver which is connected in the serial communication towards the pc and here you can see the pc in the pc we have connected it to the hyper terminal where we can give the commands and we can drive the robo which is available at the bottom and initially coming to here in the transmitter part this is called the RS-232 cable with MAX-232 in order to convert from RS levels to TTL levels we are using this MAX-232 with RS-232 and then coming to here this is my Zigbee transceiver part where I can receive the initialization from my robo and as well as I can forward my commands which I am giving from the PC okay and this is my entire RPS circuitry which I am giving for the operation of my RS-232 as well as my big Zigbee okay this is for the transmitter part and coming to the resistor part I can able to find out my H bridge circuit which uses to drive my two of the motors for the robo forward and backward operations and front and left operations. And this is my motherboard circuit where I have designed to control the robo based on my obstacle detection using the IR sensor. This is my IR, IR sensor. Whether it can be detected any obstacle, it will be giving my command to the controller. And this is called the LM325 comparator where it will be conducting only when it is obstacle is detected. And this is called the Zigbee transceiver where the commands transmitted from the transmitter end will be received here and based on the commands received, my microcontroller operates my motors. Okay, and these are the HP drivers which are used to drive my motor and here you can able to find the two motors and with a three healing mode to drive my motor to drive my robo in the forward and backward and both directions. Okay, this is the end of the project. This is the reception part and let us see the working, what is happening actually based on the command. Here you can able to see that I am giving the forward command from here. This is called F button. I am pressing and one more enter. So that my robo is moving in the forward direction. And based on the my command B, enter, my robo is moving in the backward direction. And based on the command L, enter, my robo is moving in the point direction. You can observe there, there, there itself. You can observe my robo is moving left and right, forward and backward. Uh, there is the command given by the command given from the PC. That is the end of the project.